infertility is something that affects so many people, from movie stars like Amy Schumer, she's been talking about IVF, to our very own family members. So we're going to talk to a doctor about why it may or may not be the right choice for you if you're trying to have a baby. Comedian Amy Schumer opening up about a struggle that a lot of families face, IVF. She posted to social media after her egg retrieval procedure. These are the photos that were taken by her husband, and they show the 38-year-old actress coming out of anesthesia. Schumer has been pretty candid about her difficult experience with IVF. Joining us this morning, Dr. Sharon Thompson, with some of the difficulty that women couples face some of the misconceptions people have about this particular treatment. So good place to start. What is IVF? So IVF stands for in vitro fertilization. Mm -hmm. That means the egg and sperm are put together outside of the body. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the tools that doctors have to help couples who are having trouble getting pregnant. <laughs> Okay, so before we put the egg and the sperm together mm -hmm. outside the body, you have to retrieve, you which is what we saw Amy doing. Yes. And that's not mm -hmm. always an easy process. It's not painful, but it's not painless. Exactly. So getting the, the sperm for men, easy, right? And because ovaries are inside a woman's body, you have to kind of get the eggs from inside her body. And what most people don't think about, you have to make her produce the eggs. Right, so there's so, hormones, there's shots, there's pills. Exactly. So prior to getting the, the eggs, a woman has to give herself injections. And I think Amy Schumer had posted some pictures of her tummy with some bruises the bruising, yes. from the injections that she was. So it's quite a process for a woman. And a couple really has to commit to doing IVF. But the success rates are very good. That was going to be my mm -hmm. next question. Who would be a good candidate for IVF? How do they know? I mean, obviously, you have to go to a specialist and a doctor. But at what point do you say, we need some professional help when sure. it comes to trying to conceive? So, uh, we define, in medicine, we define infertility as one year of a couple trying and not getting pregnant. So after that year, a couple might come in for a consultation. And then we do a bunch of tests to figure out where the problem lies. If the problem problem lies in getting the eggs from her, right? So then we need to help her get the eggs out. Or the man doesn't have sperm, or it could be a variety of issues. We always tell couples, one third of the time, fertility problems are female problem. One third of the time, they're a male problem. One third of the time, it's both together. Very interesting. So it depends on what the problem is, IVF may be a solution. Is this still the most popular uh, way to conceive? Because we do see a lot of other celebrities sure. who use it. it. It's not that it's the most popular way. And there's certainly other tools besides IVF to help infertile couples. Or I should say most successful. But it is. It has the highest success rate, depending on what the issue is. And also, we're seeing a trend in, in America, and I think in the world, of couples putting off childbearing to later. And because women have a limited fertility in their lifetime, you know, we have menopause where we don't have babies anymore. As women get older, we tend to have more challenges. In Amy Schumer's case, and maybe in, in about 20% of women will have trouble getting pregnant because of conditions like endometriosis, or they had surgery on their tubes and the tubes were damaged, or they may have had cysts in the past and they lost an ovary. So there's so many reasons. So many different factors. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if people want to get more information about IVF or other fertility, have other fertility questions, how do they find you? So you can contact me. I'm a general OBGYN and I can do that consultation we were talking about. I'm at Central Phoenix OBGYN. Great information. Thank you so much. Appreciate oh, thanks for it. covering this topic. Yeah.